Hi, this is Danny Doyle, and welcome back to my Fire Emblem Call of the Armor 0% Growths playthrough. And, uh, today we've got Chapter 18, or 17, um, but we have two units to talk about. First, uh, is Bardell. He is kind of the archetypal big smash with big axe man. Um, this is basically the only relevant number for him. He has 23 strength. Um, he also has S rank axes, which is good because the end game, the S rank axe, is, uh, it's pretty good. And it boosts his speed, too, to the point where, like, with the end game, he can actually reasonably double at 19 speed a certain number of enemies. Um, of course, he also just has a Brave Axe that he can use as well, uh, as well as the Brave Axe that we have on Soma. Um, Bardell crushes the enemy, and, and that's about it. 18 Luck is nice, so he, like, doesn't face crit that often. And, um, 52 HP is, you know, it's like the, the Berserker thing, right? Where, like, they pretend that they're bulky, but their defenses are not great. Um, but his HP is really high. He can take a few hits. Um, much like Soma, Bardell is never getting rescued anywhere, but he at least has regular infantry move. Uh, well, we can't see it here because he's green, but he has regular infantry move because he's a berserker. And that's pretty cool. Um, not much else to say about him. Uh, he's one of the gods, just like uh, Daisy is. Um, not you. You, Seer. Seer is a little bit more interesting because she sort of looks like another S. Uh, her defense growth is 105% and her resistance growth is 200%. So she's going to be getting bulky very, very quickly. Um, and the rest of her growths are fairly decent, like 150 HP, 80% strength, 50% skill. Um, luck at 15 and speed at 35 are the only bad ones. But defensively, she's going to gain at least one point of defense and always two points of resistance every level up. And she even has a chance to gain two defense. Um, this in combination with the Dragonstone bonuses, uh, which she has two different variants of. Firestone's one two range, but gives less bonus. Dragonstone is one range and effective against monsters and um, only and it gives bigger bonuses, right? Um, but combined with those and her massive growth, it's actually really easy to get her to the point where she takes literally no damage, um, from anything. And that's kind of cracked. Um, it's kind of incredible. So, I think that she ends up being, like, technically kind of an S, but it doesn't feel like one, because... You're like two or three levels away from just, yes, her HP is super, super low, um, but in a couple of levels, that won't matter. Um, and like, even at base, 28 resistance, like effectively 28 resistance, effectively uh, 13, no, 23 defense. Uh, she's pretty freaking tanky at base. The thing that holds her back, of course, is this. Like, yeah. And then 14 HP is, is pretty low, even with those, to the point where, like, you know, 23 defense, even if she wasn't taking effective damage, she would get two shot by this guy, right? She gets one shot by him because of effective damage, but, um, yeah, the enemies are pretty strong right now. Um, that said, Seer can absolutely, uh, absolutely fucking tank uh after just a couple of levels and i think that weirdly elevates her above like a lot of other s just because there isn't really a long training arc it's similar to mer in that like there is a training arc people like to pretend there isn't one um but it's not that long and enemies in this game and, and the player units are less less tanky and enemies are more threatening than in sacred stones so as a result, getting someone who can, like, just get to that point where she's tinked by everything is a lot more valuable, um, than, than it would be in another game. As far as items are concerned, first off, Express is going to use the Angel Robe. Uh, we are going to purchase for Keho a heal staff and a um a heal staff and a flux tome so we're gonna go ahead and do this 
Uh, no, we'll give that. Um, where's the 15 use lock? Oh, it's on Brioche, isn't it? So we'll go ahead and grab that. And then we will sell both of these. And buy... Oh, we need the silver card, which I think is actually in the convoy. Um... I'm just gonna have Josie do shopping, because I like her. Uh, so then we will, yeah, armory. Buy a Flux Dome. We'll get two of them, and a heal staff. Uh, and there are, once again, the, like, expensive weapon shops here. Uh, we can get Flux, we can get Thunder, we can get Fenrir and Flumble Winter, and... Uh, silvers of various flavors and throwables of various flavors. Um, this is sort of the last stop for shopping before chapter 19 where you get like the, the absolute last shop for shopping. There's also a secret shop on this map. It's not very good. Um, yeah, I don't really need that. Okay, so after a brief cutscene that introduces the green units we're going to need to recruit soon... We are left with a torch staff and a bunch of enemies to kill. So let's start by having Shale just like gum this guy down. Um, 69, not very accurate, but as all Fire Emblem players know, 69 is actually secretly 100%. There was never a chance of failure. Uh, we can also 100% accurately kill this guy with Frost Caliber. I do want to try to get Mac kills as much as possible. He's very, very close to hitting S-Rank Light. I think he can do it on this map. What's this? Shine 13. If we... I would like Experus, like, here. Um... Hmm. We can kill the Axe Fighter like that. And then... Kuija can... So Kuija can deal a lot of damage to the Armor Knight. Because she has, a uh, Vortex. 25. And then we can get this kill with Mac Attack. And I do want to light the torch at least once this turn. Although I'm not entirely sure... With whom? With whom that happens. Uh, you can lightning here for better accuracy. And that's a kill for Mac Attack. He is so darn close, I tell you. He's so darn close. I can I can freaking taste it. I have judgment in his inventory because of how close he is. Uh, that said, I think Ansha is going to have to antique edge so actually. Okay. If she uses the silver sword here, then we dance Mac Attack. The problem is 26, 7, 9 AS. She actually lives an attack from that mage. Yeah, I think we actually, okay, I think we actually dance Mac Attack. We can get Mac a second kill this turn. Just get him to judgment. Hashtag get him to judgment. It's judgment time. Uh, this is definitely, like, not optimal. Because Ancha- Oh, she crits anyway. Well, that- I get- yeah, It would have been nice to know that. Okay. Um. That's unfortunate. As much as I, like, shit-talked Ancha earlier in the run, she has A-rank swords, which means she can use the Antique Edge. And she has 16 strength. Like, those are... That's a good combination of traits, as it turns out. Um, okay. Can we... Get you to the point... Where Mac Attack can kill you? 11. Let's... See what we have. Let's, like, first make sure we're not putting anyone in death range, right? Because there's a mage there. The mage moves... There's also, like, the Shaman there. Shaman can't reach that square. Okay. And Wyvern can't reach up there. Okay. 
So if you javelin here, that's 10. Even if she crits, which she didn't, but if she did, it would be fine. Um, Cothilda can deal 13. And Mac Attack would deal how much? Also 13. Weber, 13. A lot of 13s. How much do they deal? 15. 15, 13, 18. Not enough. Okay, Weber. I don't think we can get this kill with Mac Attack, actually. But Mac Attack can at least do some healing, I guess. It's like a, a decent place for that. Um, because, like, if we do Mac Attack, well, I guess, no, he's not in range of the Shaman. Yeah, so what we can do is Iron Blade here, just don't get a crit, and then we rescue Killian out with our Flyers, and have Mac Attack kill this guy from here. With lightning for accuracy. And then Clothilda and D Sunwing can get Killian to safety. Over here. Just gotta check this. Okay, so you. Yep. And all you have two range. Okay, so you take, drop, go there. Okay, this seems pretty good. Um, now we get to watch the green units get fucking massacred. Oh! Never mind, low percentage crit. Um, low percentage crit for the win. I mean, you're still dead, but... He went down fucking swinging is all I'll say. So Bardell and Seer actually don't move on this map. Uh, well, as green units. Obviously, when we recruit them, they do. Uh, there's a couple of options. Sanvia and Daisy can both talk to Bardell. Um, and Kuija can talk to Seer. And I think there's one other, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, also, sleep time. That's unfortunate, but we have the restore staff. For that reason. And here comes you. Okay, they're going for Mac Attack. There's no way he gets doubled because it's a freaking Elfire Mage. I'm honestly surprised he didn't double himself. Like, yeah, Mac Attack's not the fast one, right? But still. And Alir tanking. Okay. And now you, uh, go for Shale. It's fine. We're gonna kill you next. And the unfortunate thing is, like, now we're in the situation where Shale needs to once again hit 269s. And while I knew he could at the beginning of the map, you know, I made the cheeky, like, oh, 69 never misses. Um, now we've burned our end. So, like, can he do it? I don't know, but he needs to. So, this is. This is where the magic happens. I'm not even going to heal him, because if he misses, he's... Okay! 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 Shale never fails. Shale never fails. Um... Okay, you do kind of fail, though. Okay, Ansha... Can Antique Edge here. And that's a kill. Can... Killian... Red Knife. 7, 21. He would need to heal. Hmm. Okay. We definitely need to kill anyone waiting in the fog over here. Because Kuisha is going to restore Expiris. And I think Alir is going to have to dance Express. Like, it's just, I think it's going to happen. Because otherwise I'm not sure how we're taking care of this room that we're running into. 22 times 2. Oh, right. The freaking... 
Oh, the freaking sleep bow. He's going to get put to sleep on counter. Okay. Uh, this is... This is... Cloth Hilda, she can kill this soldier. To start out with the Killer Lance. And then... Uh, I believe there's one other waiting in the fog, which is why Kuija is, like, in slight kind of danger. Um... 23. Ancha has, like, no bulk. 8 AS, 13 AS. Yeah, so you get doubled and fucking die. Um. This is, like, cringe. This is cringe. Um. 10 defense. 41 HP, so it doesn't kill on counter. Okay. Uh, Expurus... Does not kill with Retribution, either. Although Retribution plus, like, any other attack would. Um, hmm. I do have Bolting available, too. Only three uses of it, but we get him earn this map. I could also Tam's Harpoon, actually, to deal with this guy. Like, Tam's Turret. Yeah, Tam's Turret him... And then he gets low enough that we can kill him with Expurus. Or, again, anyone. Like, Kajeo could do it. 21. Yeah. Okay, if I have... Keho do it. She gets put to sleep. Then we kill with Tam's turret. And we can restore her if need be. Which we do, unfortunately. Okay, so we kill with Tam's turret. But this does only use one... Oh, it does still use two uses of Tomb Star, right? Uh... Ja yeah, Javelin doesn't kill either. How much was that in... Yeah, okay. Uh, that's... Unfortunate. Okay, I did my math wrong, and, um, laugh at me. Laugh at me! I'll say it was optimal because I was, was hoping for a dodge. We'll say that. We'll, we'll copium on that, okay? We'll copium on that. Um, we are also going to rescue you over here. The Mage Knight can reach Weber, or the Mage can reach Weber. Red Knife, not enough to kill. Sunwing can kill, though. Sunwing cannot kill. No one can kill. I mean, like, Expurus can kill, but that's no surprise to anyone. And it also has to be with Retribution because of the uh, Luna effect. Um, I do, like, I want to rescue Shale over to rejoin my army, but, like, I just don't have the bodies for that. So instead, yeah, I think we go here. Uh, heal Killian. We do want to take drop Ansha this turn as well. Like, because I want her player face action and also her vision. So we'll do this. Send them there. And... Can you reach this square? No. So we can dance Ansha to get some vision going elsewhere. And then... We'll have to restore Keho next turn. Like, that that's just an oopsie on my part. I should have attacked with Tam's turret first. I can say, like, maybe she could have crit or dodged or something... Like, that would be the copium, I guess, that I can make. So I'll make that copium. But yeah, we will trade the torch for the sleep staff. Torch up over here. 
so that we can see this corner, because there's some scary reinforcements that show up from over there as well, and also a Merc that already exists. Uh, the Merc has 12 AS, Ansha. Can I equip something to make her not have get doubled? 10. Yeah, that's good. So we can bait with Ancha. Okay. We got this big, big wall of death. Um, so Seer is kind of in danger. Um, not like a huge amount of danger, but... So she has this problem where... There's a guy with a dragon axe who will, like, absolutely wreck her. Uh, and also anyone with bows. The longbows will one-shot her because of effective damage. Um. Weber being just a tank as usual. I mean, like, I say a tank. He's taking, well, not 20 because he's not getting doubled, but he's taking a decent amount of damage. Um. Goodbye, Mr. Green Unit. Oh sevens to the green unit. Okay. So yeah, Seer is under threat by this guy who will one-shot her. Um, but otherwise, she can be like pretty formidable on this map. Even in 0%, she has like her uses of usefulness. Uh, Javelin, no. Impaler? Not that. Impaler. Yes! Uh, Lancia, also yes, actually. I mean, like, let's lose the uh, Lancia, because, like, we can afford to take 18. We have so many staffers, I think Lily can afford to take a little bit of damage, which she didn't even, but still. You know, it's, it's the principle of the matter, right? Um, okay. You have Restore. Heal up Keho. Shale also needs some healing, but Weber can heal him up. Um, unfortunately, I don't think he can actually participate in combat this turn. Oh, no, he can. Okay. So we can... Brave Bow here. Uh. If we miss either of those Brave Bows, we're like... Bad situation. Great Arc 89. Yeah, this seems like the most accurate course of action. I mean, if we miss and die, it's really bad. It would be very awkward. Okay, good. Um, thirteen. Okay, we can dance shale. Uh, I do need to heal a lair because I don't like her being on one HP. Like it's very stressful to have a one HP a lair on a fog of war map. Um, twenty four, sixteen, thirty two, thirty two plus how much was it? Yeah, so that's another kill for Mac Attack. Uh, and if if worst comes to worst, Mac Attack can grind his light rank on uh, the breakable walls. But I don't think it's going to be. I don't think that's going to be necessary. Um. Okay, we want to torch this area uh, up. Who has torch right now? You do. Okay. So let's move Killian over this way. Weber. Actually, no. We'll have Vivek. First off, support Keho. And then Torch here, because there's going to be some reinforcements that come from the top, like, left corner that come around down here, and I want to see them when they're coming. Because they'll be coming around the mountain when they come. Okay, we'll mend you up, Buttercup. And then I also want to deal with the longbow guy sort of locked away up here. Um, because he can potentially be, like, an issue sometimes. Uh, so... Well, I can't reach there, but I could have... Okay, 18 times 2. Yeah, that seems good. Express just doing work. Oh my god. He's so gamer. Um, can Keho kill the other one? I don't think so. I mean, like, it'd be baller if she can. No. In fact, she dies without healing. 
And we don't actually have any healers at the moment. Alright, let's... Heal up Shale. Just because, like, he might actually need to take a hit. Whereas, like, Aaliyah, hopefully we keep out of danger. Aside from, you know, when I explicitly didn't. But then we are going to also... Bring Aaliyah closer to the action. Like so. And you... Uh, I mean, like, this seems pretty good. If we get hit by two 22s, it would be bad, though. Do you have other weapons than just the tomahawk? No. So what if we go here to enemy phase? With the killing edge. Okay. And now that Bardell's entire crew is dead, I think it's time to recruit him. Um... Here come the wyverns. Yes, yes. Alright, now I need you to get a crit, and if you get a silencer, it's extra base. Crit? Yes! No silencer, that's okay. You're still based, you're just not extra based anymore. Okay, uh, the reinforcements aren't here this turn. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um... So... We're going to be warping Kuija here, yeah. But if I can get the torch staff onto her, that would be ideal. Um, who has it? Oh, you have it. Yeah, then that's that's perfect. So trade the torch staff for the barrier and send her over here to recruit Seer and Bardell. And this way, she actually makes use of her action. And then we'll torch up here just so we can keep an eye on that area. Because there's a couple of brigands up there. Um, I know there's a special event tied to one of them, like, turning into a dragon. I don't actually know the full deal with it. Um, and I've looked it up in Builder, and I can't figure it out. So if you know the deal, you know, I'd love to hear it. But I don't know what the deal is. Okay, can you kill the longbow guy? No. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so the wyverns will be here. I think we just heal and then heal. And send Shale over as well. We're gonna, like, fight the Wyverns in the doorway, so we have plenty of backup strategies. And then Keho will get healed by Weber. We just have, like, a big old massage train of healing. Um... I think Experus... Fireball here. And you'll just kill next turn. Um, I believe this is also the turn some reinforcements show up. Uh, the scariest of which is a Brave Bow Ranger who we won't actually have to deal with because I'm blocking him. Uh, that was just fortuitous. Like, I want to kill the Longbow guy anyway, and that's the space that I can do it from. I wasn't intentionally reinforcement blocking, but, like, I won't say no to a little bit of reinforcement blocking. All right, let's get some weapon rank on Mac. Just attack the wall. And we'll move Anja down to potentially deal with the Wyverns. Um, yeah, this seems, this all seems pretty good. Yeah, lightning the wall. Uh, by the way, move both of y'all. Move Anja towards this treasure. Yep, 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 yep. Move all y'all like so. Okay, okay. So these brigands are gonna start going this way. 
Um, whatever the secret event is with the axe that I mentioned, I'm not really interested in it. I'm also not really interested in the Killian secret event on this map. I'll do it because I think it's actually, like, fairly, uh, possible to get, like, risk-free, right? But I don't think it's gonna be, like, super useful. Does anyone actually need to train staff rank? I don't think so, right? Everyone has A, yeah. Um, well, actually, Experus does, but Experus has more important things to do than train staff rank. Alright, we could antique edge here, and that is a kill, but if we miss, then we're fucking dead. So I prefer not doing that. I, I don't want to throw away my shot. Okay. Only one of you can attack here. 30, 29, 11 AS, 12 AS. So we can put Weber here. We can heal Weber, and then put him in range of the Wyverns so that only one of them can attack him. Um, and he can just like, BIG BEEFY TANK! Um, yeah, put him here. Uh, Mac deals 11... Okay, if we go here... Six times two. So Mac can get this kill. And then if Mac can kill both of them, that's super base. Like this is just the Mac attack time. Big Mac. Um, cause we can dance Big Mac as well in order to kill the Merc. We might not need to like this. Honestly, this on its own might be enough. No, it was not. Okay. Look how close he is, though. Look at how close our boy is. I can freaking taste it. So we'll do that with Cloth Hilda, and then we'll have the Mac attack finish things off for us. Okay, and then we will... Kill this person! Exact damage! Very good, very good. And that ought to be enough. No, we're... We're so close right now. Okay, Ansha, open the door. You'll get the chest next turn. Move Bardell up. He can also help fight the dragons. And I guess Seer can as well, but like... Eh. I don't actually really need her to torch, so... Yeah, we're, we're kind of in a, um, kind of in a safe spot. I would like to open that door. I'm probably going to do it with Ansha, just because, like, what else am I using the lockpick for? I mean, I know what I'm using the lockpick for, right? Like, there's chests next map to use the lockpick on, but also, we're just taking it slow. We're, we're doing nice, nice slow gaming. Move you, move you, move you. Okay, this seems... Good. Once we open the door, we're again in like a little bit of danger. Um, but there's also still going to be like waves and waves and waves of wyverns coming at us. So yeah, um, not, it's not like we're not in a rush. Also, there's those reinforcements that can be a little bit precarious. Okay, so we'll move Kuija here. Open this. Hey, piercing bow. I don't know if I'll actually use that. Uh, it's the armor effective bow, but yeah, maybe Shale will make use of it. He's like my only bow user at the moment. Um, I mean, I do get a new one next map, but like... Well, we'll talk about that bow user when we get that bow user, okay? We'll, we'll talk about them when we get them, okay? That's the, actually the last new bow user of the run, so you'll get to see just how valuable they are. 28. Mac attack can't reach without a dance. I mean, I don't think she's reaching S rank dark. If she does, it would be very useful, but like, you see how much I've had to focus on Mac attack, and Keho has things to do other than combat. Mac attack kind of doesn't. 
I guess I can train her dark on walls as well. Like, there's plenty of walls in this map. And while the wyverns do make for, like, a bit of an anti-turtle, they're a killable anti-turtle, as you can see. Um... So, really the challenge is keeping everyone alive, right? How much did that give? Yeah, that's so little. I don't think we're- I don't think we're making it out of this, buddy. I don't think- I don't think you're making it to S rank. It's honestly- it's hard enough to get Aldrich to S rank, and he starts, like, 50% of the way there from A. Um, so yeah, I don't- I don't- I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, let's move you. And... Take. And we'll move you so we can take drop over near the door next turn. And otherwise, I think we're good? Question mark? Because can we just rejoin in the group? Those brigands will be a problem from that end, but like not a huge problem. Uh, and now that... The calves are moving. Hey. He the paladin's not alone, I don't think, at least. Okay, let's torch over here. And grab a torch. Do we want to support Kuisha? Oh fuck. Uh, yeah, we did, actually, and we also wanted to torch there. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. We can torch. Uh, grab the warp staff over rescue. You can't use rescue either. Barrier. Torch here. Move Ancha up to the door. Attack a wall. He's almost there. I can taste it. I can taste it. Okay. So you're... You can... You're Brave Lance, too. 24, 8 AS. Yeah, you kill. You kill basically everyone. Okay. Um... 24 minus 9. Bardell lives. So if we put Bardell there... The end game slow him down. Con of 17. I don't think so, yeah. So if we put Bardell here with No, don't rescue. With the end game. Shale goes over here. Seer goes over here. Calthilda flies up. Yeah, this seems. Grab the torch staff. Light this area up. We're like, we're clumped in this hallway. And like, I kind of wanted to push forward and open this door. But I'm not sure that we really have... Just because the keys and whatnot, right? I don't know. I'm not sure that we have the option at the moment. I think we back up. Wyverns are here, calves are here. It's it's scary times, okay? It's scary times. Plus, we need to be able to kill that hero as soon as we open the door. Um. Okay, move forward, move forward. Kill the paladin. If we hit. Yes? Very good, Bardell. Okay, okay, okay. And then... Now he transforms into a dragon. I still don't know what the deal is with that, but... What should you take from the wyvern? 24. Low hit rate. Okay. I think what we can do... Dragonstone, Firestone, Dragonstone... Uh, with the Dragonstone, she has 23 defense. She does die to both of those combined, those attacks combined. But if we kill... Okay. If Kuija... No. 
if Mac heals up Bardell to full, Bardell can kill one of the Wyverns. I need to see in here. I don't think there's anyone else coming. So Bardell kills one Wyvern. And dodges this 24. If not, we physic him. God damn it. Bardell! Okay, we physic him. It's fine. It's fine. So we physic him. Who has physic? Keho has physic. Okay, so we physic Bardell up to 52. All the way full. Then... Seer kills the Cavalier. Does the Wyvern double her? 12 AS. Yeah, the Wyvern doubles her, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. Red Knife. 21. We do kill with the Bread Knife here. We can also... Okay, that is... Brave Bow is 20... 34? There we go. Okay. And then... Seer can... Firestone here and then get rescued out. Because she's teeny tiny. Itty bitty teeny tiny. And... So Seer actually has over 100% growths, but I still gave her zero. Like, I know some people consider it to be like minimum growths, right? But I consider it to be fully, fully zero. Is what you're aiming for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have 11 AS, so you don't double... Yeah, so if we dance Shale, actually, we can shoot down that next Wyvern as well with either the Brave Bow or the Great Arc. I think it's got to be Brave Bow, but we'll see. Uh, Great Arc, yeah, Great Arc's not enough. So we do have to Brave Bow here. If we miss a 70, we're screwed. Ooh, okay, um... Okay, um... Well, we're not super screwed. We do have Tam's Harpoon as, like, a backup, and Bolting as a backup. Okay, Tam's Turret in the hands of someone stronger. A rank Lance. Do you have A? She has B. E. Yeah, I mean, she doubles with it. Now would be the time to use it, yeah. If you can crit, that'd be based, Lily. Nope, no crits, no crits. Look, it, it, she she kills the guy, that's what matters. She kills the guy, that's what matters. So now this soldier won't kill Shale. And we'll take... Drop... Up here... Okay, uh, who has the torch staff? Keho does, right? Yeah, let's... Light her up. I need to see. I need vision. We've got our two axe bros just chilling over there. Okay. That hero's there. Okay, Keho. Or, sorry, Kuja. Uh, now we support and trade, grab the heal staff, and heal her up all the way to full. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this seems good. We got you coming up. What have you got? Dragon Axe? Yeah, so you are not safe. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. So you're going for Shale, as expected. The 1% crit would have been very tragic. Like, imagine if I got 1% crit there. I would 
throw my microphone through my computer monitor. Probably not that extreme, but I would do... I would be unhappy. 14... Twenty-eight... Twenty... Okay, we do this. Very good. God, Shale is such a freaking beast. Okay, and then we Firestone here. Ridiculous unit. Like, absolutely ridiculous unit. I love him so much. Shale, I mean. Seer's also ridiculous, but, like, not around very long. But, yeah, Seer, like... Snowball's so gosh darn dingle darn hard. You have no idea. Y'all don't know about my Seer. Alright, uh, I think now is when Anja opens the door. Do we want the Killian support? The Killian Anja support? I don't think so. Okay, you don't move. So then... Retribution plus... Frost Caliber. You move, yeah, you move. And I think there's some guys hiding in the fog there, it feels like. And we do this. If we crit, it's based. We did not crit. It was not based. Without the longbow guy on the right, like, this is definitely a much more manageable position. I think we grab the torch staff. Light this area up. See what we've got. I know there's like a great knight and some cabs over there. Yeah, this one can reach. This one can reach. Okay. It's only from that spot though. So 29, 29. Express has. If we equip fire, Express has 12 AS. So, not doubled. 29 minus... is 11 twice. Okay, so Express can do this. Kill the hero. Tank both of the enemies that are going to attack him. Actually, all three, I think, right? All three of them reach? We get the chest key. Very nice. No, only two can. So, yeah. Well, the short spear will be m less damage than the battle axe, right? Yeah, so that's going to be actually four less, so it's 25 minus 18. Yeah, so he's fine. 11 plus 7, he takes 18. Okay. Mac attack. Attack, attack. Oof. Oof! Okay, Mac attack, attack, attack. We're gonna dance Mac Attack so we can attack, attack with Mac Attack, attack, attack. Say that five times fast. I bet you can't. I can. Not. Break the wall? Double experience for killing a wall! I don't know if that's a real thing, but let's pretend it is, because it's hype! Okay, we'll mend up Shale. Who's still on Wyver murder duty, by the way. Weber is going to be responsible for baiting the boss who's located up here. Because, like, I don't think anyone else can reliably do that. Also, there's an axe guy. And I'm a little bit scared. The dragon axe guy. Uh, okay, what if we, like, all hide over here, hide over here, hide over here. And we'll light the torch up next time. Because the Dragon Axe Brigand could be trouble. Okay, there he is. And there's them moving. And there's them moving. Everyone's closing in. The walls are closing in. But Express is not afraid. Unfortunately, he doesn't double. But I think he doubles the Great Knight. But I might be gaslamping myself. I checked the speeds. 
and I just like, it registered, but then it immediately left my mind because the damage was more important. Him not getting doubled was the thing that mattered. So the damage was what was important to me. Okay. And that one didn't move. Interesting. Okay. Iron Blade does not kill. Okay. Okay, Cloth Hilda. Just shy. So tragic. Okay, um. Actually, does Judgment kill? Judgment does kill. Now, the question is because there is another brigand hiding in the fog. Is the other brigand hiding in the fog going to kill Mac Attack with the Dragon Axe? I should have checked their stats. AS4, he definitely gets doubled. Um. So now the question is. we do this last use of torch I hope this is enough vision for it okay he's so far away okay 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 so far away so so far away uh javelin that's only seven clothilda Clothilda is just one, like, two points short of everything, right? She's, she's misbehaving. Ooh, wait, oh, fudge. We need to be able to see up there, too. I broke Torch preemptively. fudge -a Um, I mean, we have a Torch on a Leer. Okay, Keho can kill here. A Leer can trade the Torch onto Ansha. So that we get, like, Thief Vision, Torch Vision? And then Dance Keho? I don't know if Ansha's going to use the Torch this turn, because we do have a lot of people we need to kill, but we also need to be able to see if we're accidentally baiting the boss? Yeah. Okay, you have 9 AS. I can't get to the point where he doesn't double me. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, you with the bread knife do kill. So yeah, bread knife here. Because that's 18. Um, and then... door key because I need these guys dead too mm. 20 versus 4 is 16 29 versus 4 is 25 yeah you're dead if you stay there so we do need to rescue you out as well Ugh. Mm. The Sword Reaver. But what about the Killer Lance, then? Yeah, so that'll be good there. Oh, and we crit, too. Okay, Clothilda, never mind. I'm sorry for insulting you. I should never have, uh... Look, you're you're a good late-game Falco. You're a good late-game Falco, okay? We, we love you. Okay, Antique Edge here does kill. 95-95. Yeah, that, that trust that accuracy. That's, like, accurate enough. The question is, who's up here? Okay, we just have the boss up there. That's Weber's job, by the way, baiting that boss. So, rescue Seer over here. Heal up Experus? Uh, so Experus can block the Cav from being able to reach... The problem is Killian doesn't take, like, both the Longbow and the Cav. If Express blocks, then he's taking the Longbow, the Cav, and the Druid. 
Do you get doubled with attribution? You do. Okay, what if... Fire, so that's... With L fire, that is a kill with L fire, but it's not super accurate. Okay, we'll try this. Oh wait, Nosferatu. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um. You don't reach there. Can Sunwing kill? It's so inaccurate. Evelyn is not accurate either. Oh! How's this for accuracy? Dude on the f dude on the column, like it's so problem. It's so problem that he's on the column. He's just being problem addict. Okay, 29 versus 18, 11. Can't reach. So then we rescue Killian. Go there. No matter what, this guy can't kill. Yeah. Take, drop, run over here, take, drop, yeah, this seems good. And then the longbow guy is going to move, oh wait, no, the longbow is not going to move, he's still going to be in the center, which makes him really annoying to deal with. Wait, Keho's not so slow that she get doubled, is she? <gasps> oh! That could have been so bad! Oh, that could have been so bad! Oh, that could have been so bad! Holy shit! Holy shit, that is the never punished of all time. Like, holy macaroni. Okay, you go here with the endgame equipped. So that's 34... Minus 9 is 25, so that's 50... Even before triangles factored in. Okay, so he doesn't die because he doubles them. Yeah, okay. Holy shit, though. Keho, you fucking beast mode! Okay. Can we kill... Can we, like... You don't double with fire either? So cringe. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's... Oh, I'm not pushing my luck. Like, I'm not pushing my luck at this point, no. You can't reach those tiles. Okay, so... Killer Lance. That's okay. That's... Honestly, I'll take the miss. Like, my luck was good. I, I deserve this bad luck. I got the good luck. I get the bad luck. You know, everything evens out. Everything evens out in the end. Wait, you're not... Yeah, that's... That's a safe space. Okay, Frost Calibre you. Oh! I, I do not deserve this win. I do not deserve this win. I'm I'm actually... I genuinely hope that this uh, ends up being the take because, like, I don't want to have... I want that to be on the channel. I want that moment. That realization followed by the defying the odds. The dodge tanking. Okay. <sighs> okay. Express. This will move the guy over onto the staircase, which gives a. Vo uh, does not give a void. Okay. So if we have Express go here, heal Cloth Hilda. Um, we want, we also want to heal Keho. Like, we definitely want to heal Keho. Um, okay, Weber needs a Hoplon guard also. So who has one to spare? You have one to spare. So we'll have Keho go here. 
Weber grabs the Hoplon Guard. Exchange for that. And heals up Keho. I'm pretty sure Weber survives a round of combat against the boss. As long as he doesn't get crit. The problem is she has super high crit rate. So that's what the Hoplon Guard's for. Because he has... Not that. 14 defense. 12 speed. Um, she has 20 AS. 30 time... So it's minus 14 is 16 times 2 is 32. So yeah, we just have him be the bait. Shale can brave bow this guy down. Oh my god, what a gamer. What a gamer! Okay. Move Mac attack up. Yeah, no one but Express is in range. I need to make sure not to put Seer in range. Killian up here. Okay, this is good. You can use the torch this turn, like just get Omega Vision. Know where everything is. No surprises. No surprises. You don't move. Okay, you move, right? Yeah, you move, you cheeky little bastard. And you move. No, you don't move. Okay. And the Armor Knights don't move. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Move Lily here as well. I think we're ready now. Oh, boy. I could have danced and moved Weber into position this turn, actually. I probably should have done that. Just, like, to start progressing. So we're not constantly dealing with Wyverns, constantly using abuses of the endgame. Oh, my God. What a beast. Beast mode, Bardell. Didn't even need to do calcs. Because he's just going to dodge them all. He's just going to dodge them all. There's the Wyvern. Oh, yeah. Not Wyvern. Dragon. Okay. Um. Concern. Because dragons hit on true damage. So most people can't live a hit from this guy. But we have Judgment Slayer, actually. So it's actually fine. Okay, so we have Weber bait the boss. If Killian lands the killing blow on the boss, you get another PRF for him. Personally, I don't think it's an especially good second PRF, but I'm using Killian. So, like, I might as well try to get it, because I don't think it's actually that difficult. With the bread knife, he can fairly reliably do some amount of damage to her. Frost Caliber. Okay, we move Ansha. Because that's a might support. And kill like that. Good job, Vivek. I'm proud of you, buddy. Are they only a B? They're at A. Why was that only two might? I don't know. I don't know. Oh! He gets a half from Keho as well. Yeah. That must be it. Okay. Uh, so you... Move all y'all. Prepare for the push. Wyvern's over here. Like, the torch is gonna show us beforehand, hopefully, probably. Little scared, not gonna lie. But I think this is how we have to do it. Okay, so she's gonna come in, and Weber will survive by the skin of his teeth. Because no crits possible. Dark Moon also looks really cool. Um, I like her design, I guess you would call it. 
Okay, so Express can deal 30 damage to her. Can Killian deal the rest with the bread knife? Right? Yeah. So we do this with Express. So it's, it's very easy, right? You get units who can deal exact amounts of damage. Regardless of stats of any enemies. You can make sure that they can kill whoever they need to kill for events. So Killian just needs to hit this. Unfortunately, his supports are not present. I never got that Sukandi support that was like the entire reason I recruited her. We do get a boss combo as well between them. It's too late, my teacher, I'll kill you. I understand, I'm gonna free you. Good to have that crit to, to let me know that we're not gonna miss and just get wrecked, which would have been tragic. So then this will result in Killian getting his second PRF at the end of the map. We also get Anxious Fang. That's not his PRF, it's just an S-rank sword. Now this... is not enough. Longbow, okay, Longbow plus Judgment is enough though. Right? 32, yeah. Okay. See, there's a reason we trained Mac Attack. We have an actual S rank user with an actual magic stat now. And also, his warp range is now the highest warp range I can possibly have. Um, I'm pretty sure. Right? Because it's plus 10 to his. Yeah, it's 22. So he has 11 tiles versus Vivex 10. Which, like, one tile does make a difference sometimes. Okay. Now, we do have Wyverns, but other than that, we can start just, like, going... Uh, the problem is which way are the Wyverns going to come, right? If I do this... Because I was going to say we can start going for the treasures, but if the Wyverns choose to go this way, I think they will choose to go this way. This is the shortest path. So we start... Moving all y'all. Okay. Rescue. We can't pick up Shale because he's too big. <laughs> he's such a big boy. Can Lily? Yeah. So then we dance and bring Shale over there. The fact that my, like, best combat units throughout the course of the game have generally been like either sword masters or incredibly heavy. It's a little amusing to me, TBH. Um, I mean, look, it should be a fucking testament to how good Killian and Shale are that they have been useful in almost every map of the game. Killian less so, because his PRF, like, he kind of doesn't exist until his PRF. Well, no, he exists for a few maps, and then he doesn't exist. He's like a, <laughs> he's like an Avel archetype. An Orson archetype, whatever you want to call it. He goes away, and then he comes back. Functionally. Feels that way, at least. But Shale... Lord Almighty Shale. Yeah, we can- they can team up. Actually, he doesn't even need to use the Great Arc. He can just use a Silver Bow. Wait, is the Silver Bow better than the Great Arc? Wait, is this the Sacred Stones thing where... Effective damage for S ranks is two times instead of three times? Is that 13, 18? It must be the Sacred Stones thing where all of the monster effective weapons are only two times effective. I didn't know that was a thing here. That's pretty interesting.
Now, how do I want to... A Lance Reaver would be nice. Can I get a Lance Reaver onto... I know I have one, right? Do I have one in the supply? Yes. Let's give Ansha the Lance Reaver. We'll Torch, why not? Like, there's no more Fog of War after this, right? So I could sell it, but it's like, it's chump change. Ooh, so that's 14. Eh. Bolting. Okay, if we hit this bolting, then Ansha can kill... Oh, this is not good. Fourteen AS, thirty four attack, seven, thirty four, minus seven. Shale's dead. Like, Shale is dead unless I can be twenty. Ugh. Okay, and then we gotta... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Ansha, go over here. Oh, sh shit. Okay, so we... Have to rescue him out. Oh, this is actually really bad. Yeah, because the only... Can Lo Cloth Hilda? Cloth Hilda can take him. But no one else can, right? Aid 16. Con 16. Oh, wait. Okay. Cloth Hilda. Rescue Kanto. Take, drop. Yeah, the wyvern doesn't kill either of them. Okay, this is actually... Oh, boy. Okay. I thought I thought I was in deep doo-doo there, but... We found a way out. I could start moving you up take on other mages. Like, he is just kind of the counter mage. Holy mackerel. I mean, I say this counter mage. He's kind of the counter everything. He's the counter life. He's like a John archetype. Kills humanity. Okay. Yep. Move you... I guess we'll dance Ansha, move her closer to the doors that need unlocking? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, and after all of that trouble, it was a miss anyway. I mean, no guarantee that he would have, like, missed Shale, right? I still think it was correct to, like, get Shale out of there. Okay, um... Keho, you could reach and kill. What have you got equipped? Silver Axe? Shale, do that. Like, just get this party started. Um. Weber cannot get the party finished. <laughs> you could get the party finished, actually. Seer Gaming. Of course, she would have died uh, if, if she was enemy phasing. Well, actually, no. 
Because she would have killed Encounter. No, she would not have killed Encounter. I promise Seer is actually good, but like, if you take growths away from the S unit, they get a lot worse. I know, this is a shocking revelation. No one has ever thought of something like this before. Okay. There's that chest key. Send it to convoy. So now, we open the door. And, yeah, just bonk the sniper. I would like him not to be a problem. The Brave Axe is safest because it's like, just, it had to hit twice and it could hit four times. Yeah, it's the, the deal with that. 35. Okay, so you would die to a combination of the two of them. So... Instead, we'll do this. Or start moving you to get Hermurn. Yeah, I think... Quick fire there, so we can start getting Hermurn. Um, okay. Mm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh, right. No, with the energy ring, Vivek is actually tied with Mac, but still, getting a second 22 magic warper. Quite good. Quite appreciated. Uh, Lily. I mean, you're you're a mage killer, right? Right. Fifteen res. Actually, you probably are the best equipped to deal with the mages. <laughs> um, I've. Alir, go over here to help with the chest collection process. All the rest of you start moving over this way. I am worried about more wyverns. I think they just keep coming, and 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 they just keep coming. So... Could be an issue. Also, that northmost chest will get attacked from the two range people outside. All this and more. Silver blade. <laughs> the fucking silver blade. Okay. Because this guy has two range. He has a hand axe. If I equip a silver sword... 10... 12... Doesn't double... 29... 34? Doesn't kill. Based. Um... Hmm... We rescue... We actually don't even need to do that, because we can do this. Drop. Dance. And then we can open the other chest. Okay, so that, that again, Calx for no reason. Calx for no reason. But look, like, I'm, I'm over an hour into this map. I'm allowed to be a little bit Calc happy. Okay. Might actually be the best person for this job. Um. Okay, do this. How do you do against him? 30. And are you capped? Yeah, so you actually die. She doubles him too. Wait, does Fenrir... Fenrir doesn't pierce defenses, does it? No. Who has the barrier staff? You have the barrier staff. So we'll barrier up Lily, then she'll survive the Fenrir. She is legitimately the best equipped person to deal with this boss. This is actually incredible. I love this unit so much. Yeah, kill the boss. 
honestly, survives against both of them. Would like a Hoplon guard on her. Is there another one in the supply? Give the torch, take... Oh, I still have a speed wing that I forgot to give out. Oops. There is not another one in the supply. Okay, well... Weber can give her his. And we will impale her. 23 plus 4 is 27. Gaming. We'll just impaler them uh, to death. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. He doesn't have anything other than Fenrir, does he? If he has Luna, I'm gonna cry. I should have attacked the boss. I'll check. I mean, we can rescue her out, maybe. Nope, just Physic and Master Seal. Cool. The late game Master Seal is real. Okay, and then... All that's left is the Hamurn village, yeah. All that's left is the Hamurn village. And we do want to Hamurn some stuff. The bread knife is a big one, obviously. Um... I don't know what else. Antique edge I've kind of hoarded. Um, so we don't really need to do that. Yet. Brave bow, maybe? Still 15 uses. We'll start with just the bread knife, and we'll go from there. Yeah, Frost Caliber, we got enough. This is all enough. Let's just let Lily work. Let Lily cook, okay? She's, uh... She's in the kitchen, and she's cooking, and she's, uh... She's impaling. She's stabbatha stabbatha stab thing. I love when you get to name the forges. I always name a land Stabatha. I don't know why. It's like Agatha, but stab, like Stabatha. I don't need to explain the joke to you. You get the joke. You're smart people. You're uh, smart people who consume the Danny Doyle content of the Danny Doyle channel. That's a good bullion. Okay, so you... 25... go here. Dance Rooney. We'll move Killian closer to uh, where the Hemmerin's gonna come from just to save time. Because holy mackerel, we've been on this map for so gosh darn diggle darn long. Thanks. I forgot that was a fucking torch. <laughs> when there's no more fog laps in the entire game. This is so tragic. This is actually so tragic. Alright, Keho, you can break a wall. Break a wall, Keho! Mostly just because we're going to be here for a little bit anyway. So, like, we do get the surge of weapon experience next map as well. It's not unrealistic that she gets enough to hit us. But it's, like, pretty unrealistic. Alright, buddy. Give me your best shot. That was your best shot? That's so tragic for you. That's so tragic for you. Alright. So we're going to fireball you. And then we'll move, um, Killian over here. Attack with Flux. I'm so mad about that torch! <laughs> I'm so mad about that torch that you have no idea. That's so funny. That's so stupid. I hate it. That's so funny and stupid. All right, grab Hamurn. So we can heal the bread knife. Wait, throw away? Fudge nuggets. My convoy's full. 
Okay, let's get rid of the Fire Tome. Only a seven uses and it's my weakest weapon. I didn't know my convoy was full. That torch filled my convoy up! <laughs> oh my! That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. All right, hammer and the bread knife. Heal it to full. There we go. We've got some very good use out of this weapon and we're going to continue to. Break the wall. And let's get out of here. And then of course, after this, we're gonna get a secret event where he's mourning Dark Moon, and then he finds a sword. Oh wait, we're gonna have to discard something. Oh wait, cause the convoy's full. Uh, I mean there's the vulnerary we can just get rid of. We have plenty of elixirs in the convoy. At least I can show this out, right? Brings out potential. It's only eight might, one range. Like, it's not very good. But we throw away a vulnerary. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.